that's as far as we're going today. Well, hey everybody, welcome to a, a not Thursday in New Hampshire at home because it's like a misty, lightly raining kind of morning and it's gonna do this all day long and I really wanna get outside. So, only in the past few years, I have made it a point to metal detect in my own yard at least once per season. And I mowed about five days ago, so it's starting to come back and it's just gonna be, it's gonna be icky sticky, but I've never actually detected in the backyard, if you can possibly believe that. So, we're talking, you know, the house, this has been here since the late 80s, but the woods out there as well are old. I have found shotgun shells out there, 100 years old, but right here, I have never actually walked through the yard with the detector, so anything can be in the yard from either us or the people before us. Either way, I'm going to be cleaning up my yard a bit and we'll spend a little time out here and hopefully it doesn't uh, decide to downpour on us. That one I can actually see. A little piece of aluminum. I don't know if that's from the siding or what. But there you go. There's the thing. Aluminum nail. Big slab of aluminum. Cleaning up the yard. Aluminum nail. Well, I'm gonna move into the tree line. The precipitation's getting a little heavier than I was hoping for. But, like I said, all back here is pretty much untouched. It's just old woods uh, for the area it's fairly older growth and like I said out here I have definitely found old shotgun shells at least in the hundred year range so that's kind of cool it's kind of funny but <laughs> I lasted five minutes out in the wide open I just gotta be in the woods as soon as I come back here a much better feeling. Huh. The first thing we dug, it's another one. No color. And, you know, pretty far out from the house, but wind and all. Hmm. Melted aluminum. That should be interesting. Hence the aluminum that I found earlier, the melted stuff. Big chunk of aluminum. Twenty two slug. That's probably mine. Another twenty two. Jeez. There we go. Shotgun shell and really old. This today it's actually kind of interesting for me as opposed to digging, you know, a hundred of them a week because this is home and somebody was out here a long time ago when this was all woods 
Remington Express. So we'll do this on the fly, just quickly. So that was a paper cartridge. That just says they stopped making those in the 1960s. 22 casing. That would not be mine. I definitely take everything out with me. That looked old anyways. And so pretty much, and you guys may have seen this in my other videos, right there. I have this ancient trail in my yard. It circles this meadow and it's been woods for hundreds of years because of the mill on the other side. This was owned by people who milled wood. So there's no rock walls, nobody built out here in the old days. And even my road, the half of it that we are on was not officially a road, probably, I think maybe the 40s. Other than that, it was just a dirt cart path, I guess, coming through. So this whole area would have been woods and that's why you're gonna find people were hunting and shooting and doing other stuff. More modern one, plastic. Federal high power, number 12. Guess you never know when you're metal detecting, right? And look at this is a what's left of a an old tree stump. It's an old fuse. With a head stamp. Oh, General Electric. That's actually kind of cool. Definitely predates the house, I'm guessing. I'm knowing there's nothing like this in there. So, always fascinating when you do this, because you never know. Think about that. Why? Why and how did this end up out here? Either way. It's a good thing we moved into the woods. It's definitely raining out there. You can hear it hitting the canopy. Another shotgun shell. Purple casing. These are definitely not mine, I can tell you that. Federal high power 16 gauge. Sorry, it's really coming down now. Well, this is right off the side of one of my flashlight test facility trails. So yeah, I'll give you the daytime shot. This is where I film a lot of my flashlight review stuff. I keep it well groomed and cleaned, which is good because actually for detecting, I can now swing in here. You couldn't walk through here two years ago without stepping over down trees and stuff. So we got good swinging and good flashlight ground. And surface signals. Uh, those could be John's. Yeah, it's full on pouring now. That's it. Short, but the point of today's video for you and for me is to just go out and have fun, even if it's in your own yard. Go outside and spend a little time outside. You'll feel better about it. The point, bottom line. Have fun. And who knows, maybe you'll find something cool or odd in your yard like that fuse. Mm -hmm.